Okay, this is the video on how to load two Mark I filament heads so that they're at the same zero position, and then later we'll get into calibrating the offsets between the heads so that the heads can cooperate on the same print, either for two STLs that are being printed from two separate heads intertwined, or if you have one head for support and one head for the model, or you want one head for perimeters and one head for infill, however you want to have two heads cooperate. And the same theories and the processes apply if you're going to have three or four heads cooperate. So my bed is level from yesterday. I don't need to check that. I've got my trimming tool if I want to. What I'm going to do is take my heads. Something we have to be careful with when you're loosening these screws with your two and a half millimeter hex driver is that if you have 12 volts engaged and this is loaded and you come off here and hit these connectors you can blow the 4 amp fuse. So I either adjust these when they're not loaded or I make sure my emergency stop is in so that there's no current to short across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen these up just a little bit, half a turn. You can see how loose it gets. I'm going to make sure my thumb screw is retracted. And I'm going to load my heads in slot 2 and slot 3. Alright, so you see the circuit board slid down a little bit after the body was already loaded. So I'll loosen these up. And here's something to note. Sometimes you'll have some buildup of filament on the bottom of your nozzle. So you want to take a tweezers or a razor blade or something because we want the distance to be actually to the brass nozzle. And the other one's just got a little bit on there. So I'm just going to reach under there and clean off the bottom of the other one. Maybe I'll just take it out and do it. Okay. So now my heads, the physical part, the motors and the gibs are slid all the way down. Then these two little spacer boards are all the way down and the circuit boards are seated. And if I do a reset, you'll see those lights come into sync. Okay, so all's good. My emergency stop is in, so there's no 12 volt. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna raise the zero position up or the bed up so that I get some pressure on both heads. I'm going to put a sheet of paper under here to start with so I can get a gauge of the relative pressures. So I'll go into my software. We're going to enable Z Calibrate. Is it better with this light on or off? I guess with the light on, that'll give me a little more detail on the heads. As we get closer, we'll make smaller moves. I'm going to make 100 micron moves. Okay, you can see I've got a little bit of pressure now on the right head, but not the left head. So I'm just going to wiggle that a little bit and come up again another 100 microns. Oops, that was a full millimeter. Now I've got a little pressure on both heads. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like for it to be close. So what I want to do first is tighten these thumb screws. And you may see that the heads adjust a little bit when I put pressure on them from the thumb screw, so I'm going to have to go back and recheck this. Lefty, I'm going backwards. Okay, so I got pressure on that head and that head, and now I'll see. I've got pretty close to the same pressure. It's a little bit more pressure on the head on the right, but I don't think it's a problem. 
So now that that's done, not only is my zero position set, my heads are set, I'm going to turn off the 12 volts by pressing the emergency stop. I make sure the circuit boards are seated, and I'm going to come over here and tighten these screws. See when I tighten these, this board moves a little bit, but it doesn't affect the body itself because that's already locked in with these thumb screws down here. So I've got my zero position set, and I've got my relative head distances set. What remains now is the normal stuff. I'm going to bring down, turn off my Z calibrate. Sell some room and start heating up my heads and my hot bed. I want my bed to actually get up nice and warm to 80, so I'm going to flash that new value up. I'm going to turn it on to 80. I'll still need to load filament from both heads, so we'll do that next. As soon as we get up to temperature. But that's all that's required to set your zero position the same on both heads. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, trial and error, you have to nudge it up and down. When you tighten the heads, one of them will pull the head a little bit lower, so you'll have to test your pressure with the paper and redo it the second time or third time. But once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. Okay.